Okay, today is August the 5th, 2017. Uh, technically, it's August the 6th, but this is a video for the uh, 5th of August. All right, uh, right now in the uh, foothills of Los Angeles at midnight, we have a barometric pressure of 29.92 inches. The temperature is 68 degrees. The relative humidity is 79%, and the dew point is 61 degrees. And uh, the last couple of days have been uh, mostly clear uh, because of high pressure that's been uh, installed in the uh, southwest. Uh, this area here started out as a small semicircle over Southern California, which uh, was blocking all this monsoonal uh, moisture moving through the area. We had some tremendous uh, development, uh, cumulonimbus uh, development. Uh, the last, uh, actually, it was on the 3rd of August, and we had uh, heavy thunderstorm showers up in Acton, California, and also out in Wrightwood and out near uh, Palm Springs. So those areas got uh, hit pretty good with some uh, rain. And uh, since the 3rd, of August, we've seen this area here uh, uh, fill out. This is an area of high pressure, which is blockading. We can see the high pressure right here. Everything is spinning clockwise. And uh, this is actually pushing away all of this uh, monsoonal moisture, which was moving right into California. So basically, we've got uh, zero rain in Central and Southern California. We have a a low pressure system right up here, right off of Northern California, which is obvious. We can see that counterclockwise spinning low pressure right there. And uh, for the last couple of weeks, we've not had much of a jet stream pattern. Let's take a look at the jet stream right now. And we can see that uh, there's just not much a jet stream flow anywhere, uh, except for up here, there's a low pressure system. Uh, but for the last couple of weeks, uh, we've not seen a steady jet stream pattern that is moving anywhere near uh, California with any kind of uh, continuity. All right, so let's take a look now at the uh, the big map, the Northeast uh, Pacific water vapor loop. Once again, we can see the uh, this giant uh, low pressure system right up here, which is uh, spinning. And this is being worked on. We can see high pressure installed right here to block the uh, to block and, and evaporate. This is the partial jet stream flow that we were just watching on the uh, jet stream map right here. And that is evaporating and walling up into this area of high pressure, which is transmitter generated. Also, we've got a similar situation right here: a blockade. That will prevent this uh, from moving down and getting involved in this weather right here. Got something right here which is attempting to spin a counterclockwise. We can see right in this area there is some uh, counterclockwise rotation. Now there was a tropical depression out here. I think it was 11E. That's been blown apart. There's nothing left of that. If we go out and take a look here at the tropical uh, well, let's go back to the, uh, right here, the East Pacific water vapor loop. We have a gigantic uh, supercell right here, which is uh, one of the largest supercells I think I've ever seen. And this has a, a just a gigantic solid blue interior right down here on the far right of the scale is the most intense uh, right there. And look at the size of this. This is being superheated and blown apart. We can see the uh, pressure uh, shock wave, the uh, pressure wave that is moving out on both sides as that uh, storm is superheated. And look at the color change. As we see the blast pattern on both sides, we notice the color change toward the end. This is the water vapor map. Let's take a look next at the uh, infrared map, which shows the depth of the water vapor. This is all the way pinned on the far uh, side there, that, uh, <clears throat> that red scale right down here. Is, this is all the way down to the far right. So 
see that uh, pressure wave right here and out on the back side as well on the east side now if we take a look next at the uh, the visible light map we uh, see that right after the first couple of frames right here we've got a couple of areas this transmitter was hitting right there and then we have we have the uh, day to night transition right here so we can't see the detail but there is a lot of uh, photoshopping we can see that and the photoshopping is is uh, processed to hide the detail this area right here is also being targeted this area right here and this area is photoshopped as well so if we go back and take a look again we can see the blast pattern right here right there blowing out and the color change now the interesting thing about uh, this giant cell is it's moving out to sea right over uh, Central America out to the uh, East Pacific Ocean. If we take a look uh, at the, uh, the tropical Atlantic <coughs> uh, water vapor map right here, this is actually <coughs> a uh, disturbance right here. Let's take a look at the uh, Hurricane Center map right here. This is forecast 60% uh, chance of hurricane formation in two days right here. So we go back to the tropical map and take a look. This is being uh, targeted and blown apart as well. You can see that clearly the, the color change, this blast pattern out to the uh, east. And the same thing over here, but this is not designated as a disturbance. I just thought I'd point that out. If you take a look at the, uh, there's also another disturbance out here, 30% chance of uh, hurricane formation. If you look at the uh, East Pacific right here, there is no, uh, nothing, there's no disturbances or anything out there tonight. But uh, yet we see quite a large uh, supercell right here. So this, will be blown apart and nothing here will develop into a, into a uh, disturbance or a hurricane at least for the next couple of days. All right, so getting back to the western U.S. water vapor loop, we can see that area of high pressure, which is just bulldozing all this uh, monsoonal activity right back into Mexico and away from the entire southwest. Also, we see a lot of evaporation right up here where this a low pressure system is actually moving towards Northern California. A lot of abnormal evaporation going on right here and right in this area, right over the Lake Tahoe area. Take a look at that. That is not normal. Okay, so that is the report. What I'm going to do next is to uh, post some video from August 3rd showing the uh, tremendous uh, cumulonimbus development over the San Gabriel Mountains that generated all, all that uh, rain for uh, act in California and also Wrightwood and and uh, the development that we saw on, on uh, August 3rd was something that we haven't seen in many many years that is the the uh, these giant thunderheads that were all across the mountains and they rose up and it was quite a sight to see and so we're going to go ahead and post uh, two two videos uh, actually two parts and on on the uh, on the side the south side of those thunderheads we were seeing some superheating going on 
and that was documented in these videos. And so we'll go ahead and post that. Uh, apparently, obviously not all of those Thunderheads were destroyed. Some of them were allowed to rise up, and they actually generated some lightning and thunder, and we got quite a bit of rain up in Acton and up in Wrightwood. So we'll go ahead and post those and uh, see, see what you think. There's uh, some pretty good evidence of the superheating process. Okay, that's it.